everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays Neo Scavenger, the makeshift mod edition. Alrighty, what are we looking at here today? Well, I off camera, remember we got to this point, we survived, like, you know, kicking and clawing ourselves through. We actually survived. We got enough food on us, we have enough, like, you know, rest in us. Well, not anymore, but we got enough rest in the last episode. We killed a Leanne Field Ore, we were able to butcher him down for some food, so we're good on that aspect. We got to this, um, hex over here, and off camera, I picked up whatever was important, whatever it was, and I also did a little bit of, a. Uh, I guess, uh, inventory management here. So we have our foods up here. We have random nonsense over here. I also messed around with the vehicle a little bit as well to kind of, uh, alleviate how messed up it was. And then there's all the stuff that I'm leaving over behind. So, you know what? Maybe I should take one of these extra bags though, huh? Just in case. Yeah, let's take an extra bag just in case. I mean, we're burdened regardless of which. So that's not going to help us out either way. Just another extra bag. It's not going to be any more of an issue. So we're done here. We have roughly one more move left before it calls it a night on us. Refugee camp's over there. I want to kind of hit this town up and then go north to the refugee camp. So let's go ahead and start doing it. Um, actually, before we do that, let's switch over to our slung pebbles, right? That's good. Let's continue forward here. Another Lee Enfield uh, horror. There's a lot of... or not... <laughs> I keep calling it a Lee Enfield because I keep thinking of RimWorld's fucking, um, you know long distance um, rifle and shit. It's not a Lee Enfield, it's just a regular Enfield horror. But it doesn't mean that I'm happy about seeing so many of them because they can gang up on you. Please leave me alone. Please, for the love of God, leave me the fuck alone. Alrighty, he left me alone for now. I could scavenge this hex and I'm gonna do it. Because botany. Oh, no, God, thankfully we got some good stuff here. Not that I really am in dire need of it, but hey, you know what? Every little bit counts. And there is some water here, which I will take. Um, I'm dead cap, and this is edible. So let's um, go ahead and eat the edible ones at the very least. This actually takes care of our thirst a little bit, too, if I'm right. Yeah, there we go. Barry's doing its job. Go right on ahead. Now, there's a lot of berries here, huh? I feel like eating these two, and then... There's pe uh, stones, which I do like, and edible berries of the red variety as well. Okay. I'd be a fool not to take these with me at this point, considering how close we were to, like, you know, starving at one point, right? So let's take berries. Again, we're burdened at this point. We have to live with the fact that we're moving at four paces per turn anyway. But I think it's important for us to take some extra bit of um, rations on us. Uh, the shoe is kind of being an issue now. But that's fine, because I want to sell it. Assuming there's something to sell at the refugee camp, and we'll take the stone with us as well. Okay. So that's going to be fine, and, um, let's jump into this town over here. Enfield Horror, leave me- oh, Enfield Horror Leader, oh, look at this guy, oh, I'm a leader, I'm a Lee Enfield Leader, well, fuck you, okay, I, I took care of your kind quite a few times, and not only did I kill one, the other one flew, well, not, then literally flew, but it fleed in, like, you know, complete fear of my prowess in the- don't, don't come at me, I'm sorry, I'm just shit-talking, okay, <laughs> just stay back, alrighty, I talk a lot of shit, I'm a pussycat in reality, though. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see if we can loot over here anything important. Um, handful of maggots, I'm not gonna mess with those anymore. I, I do have a spot for this, right? So we might as well take this, no point in not to. Alrighty, more bottles, which wouldn't be a bad thing considering we only have four bottles. Um, not only that, but we could take the small string, put it in there. I definitely want these stones. Alrighty, we'll take that. And one more bottle could fit right there for now. Okay, that's good. Everything else could kind of go F itself. Now, I haven't made any more arrows, and I do have the option to do that now since we have the pieces of paper, which is what we were missing initially. But, uh, instead of doing that, I, I just want to... I just want to get to the refugee camp, and these Enfield horrors just need to get off the dick already, man. Like, these guys are so on the sack, it's ridiculous. But he's not attacking me, which is fine. If you guys want to hang out there, then go ahead, enjoy your wasted marsh pit utopia. I don't care. I just want to get up there. So, fuck, this place is just littered with him, isn't it? Now we're going to jump into, like, forests more than likely. I can't even jump in there right now. All right, please, no, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Nighttime. That's great. All right, you know what? No charges. Uh, <laughs> of course, why, why would there be any charges in there? All right, we're in a forest now. Ooh, look at me, I'm in a forest. Um, let's end our turn here, obviously, because we have no other choice. I will, should I scavenge this, or should I just keep moving forward? I feel like we should just keep moving forward, right? Uh, in terms of botany, we're, we're set right now in terms of, like, berries. So, yeah, let's just keep moving forward. I just need to make it to that refugee camp. If I, clean rags have fallen apart. 
Okay, that's not good. I don't want dirty rags on me. Minor cut, minor pain, minor cut, minor bruising, minor pain. Okay, one second. Don't worry. I'm equipped for this shit, man. You don't even know. I'm like the, the Barbara Walters. <laughs> not the Barbara Walters. That's Project Zomboid. I was going to say, I'm the Martha Stewart of the Wasteland here, so I got this shit under control, my friends. Let me put that in. Put that there. Put it on Martha Stewart. And minor bruising, minor pain. This isn't really required. So let's just stack these bad boys up. Flip them over. Go in here and then bam like that. That could go fuck itself and we'll keep four of the clean ones on us just in case. Why would he throw? Why would I keep the uh, dirty ones and throw the clean ones? It doesn't make any sense now, would it? Alrighty, so it's all good. We're okay. Continue going forward. Another, you know, another forest. I'm tired. But, you know, what else is new? Can I scavenge anything here? Ooh, abandoned mobile home. I think this is worth uh, a scavenge, honestly. It, it's actually not really worth a damn thing. I beg to differ. Okay. Cardboard box. This is actually better than what we have here, and we can... No, we can't put that there. That doesn't make any sense, obviously. Okay, well... Let's think of it this way. How many? How much are we looking at? Six to the across and six down? What is this suitcase like? Seven across and five down. So four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it's essentially almost the same thing. Same kind of payoff in reality. I'll just hold on to the suitcase. Alrighty. Not really worth it. I mean, I could carry this at hand, but I mean, I'm already burdened as it is. What's the fucking point? Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. However, the crowbar is so worth it. However... It means that we're fucked out of the bow. And that does not make, does not please me at all. Unless we do this, put bow at hand, and then we put my fucking killer, giant killer aside over here. Now where would this fucker fit though? Well, you know what? We're a little bit thirsty, right? So how about we um, chow down on some of these red berries over here? Probably a, a, a misuse of these, but it's all right. There you go. You can hang out right there. Good. Other bottles gonna have to wait. There's a few jelly bears here, and you know what? I rather like jelly bears. So jelly bears, you come along. You have made the cut. Alrighty, box. I hope you feel bad about yourself because I chose the um every. <sighs> Are you gonna honestly kill me before I get to the camp? Considering the camp is like literally a hopscotch away from here. Or hopscotch? Hopscot? No, it's hopscotch, right? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm an alcoholic, I'm thinking of scotch. It's not scotch-scotch, it's just like, you know, hopscotch, where you played in elementary school. <sighs> I, I, I don't feel good about this. I just don't feel good about this. I just want to desperately retreat. Okay, it worked. Let's jump over here instead. Now, beast, leave me the fuck alone, alright? I don't want to fight you right now. I know I was talking a big game earlier. I just want to make it to the refugee camp. That's my, my only goal in life. You know, I, I want to be able to, like, go up to the pearly gates of heaven and be like, You know what? I didn't really amount to much in my life, but I at least made it to the refugee camp, goddammit. Alright, scavenge. Nope. Not gonna do that. I am so close. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Uh, next turn, I'll be able to make it. Oh, my lord, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Leanne Field Horror, you can go fuck yourself. What? I'm good. Alrighty, so, new flavor text this is part of the mod, guys. So, hey, finally here, huh? A large, partially overgrown sign can be seen standing beside the road, informing passerbys that they are heading towards the Northern Shores Refugee Camp. Further down the road is blocked by a gate, and the whole perimeter seems to be surrounded by a high chain link fence. Alrighty, well, let's go to the main yard. You are standing in the middle of an abandoned parking lot located in front of a badly damaged schoolhouse. The building has been gutted by a violent fire, and, the, and, according, to the, and according to the barely readable signs, once served as a temporary camp HQ. Temporary? You, fuck you, man. You don't understand the trouble I went to to get here. Temporary my ass. You better be permanently here. Look around. And uh, search it. Let's look around first, obviously. Whatever kind of operation had taken place here, it finished a long time ago. Oh, this, this breaks my heart, man. And it didn't end well. The main campsite was located behind the building and occupied the space of the school, sports ground, and the surrounding meadows. Where now you can still see shreds of tents and clothing mixed in very dense vegetation. Which seems to be slowly swallowing all the evidence of human beings once residing here. And yet, after all this time, the remains of the camp ooze of chaos and the chaos of its last moments. Is this really part of the mod, or... Is this part of the regular game? Because this is actually worded 
pretty much like how the developer of the game has worded just about every other like little hex quest, you know, like it's really el like eloquently worded and stuff. So I'm a little bit iffy. I, I might be wrong. I guess this is just part of the regular game, maybe. I don't know. If you guys know otherwise, let me know. Uh, the gloomy, unpleasant feeling caused by the disorderly remains of what was once an effort to bring human humanitarian aid to those in need is further deepened by the sight of some sort of burial grounds clearly visible near the forest line, not far from the main campgrounds. Um, go to the main campsite, go to the burial place, and search inside the HQ. Well, let's go to the main campsite, right? Uh, from a nearby board with a camp's map drawn on it, you owe, you know that the residential part of the facility was located in a school football field adj uh, and adjacent meadows. That was enough space to accommodate tents for nearly 10,000 refugees. Right now, however, the whole area is overgrown with very dense thicket among which uh, only rarely can uh, the fragments of abandoned camping equipment be seen. Sorry about the hesitation there, I was looking at my phone as well. Uh, the plants grow so tall that imp and impregnable, in fact, that without the right tools to cut your way through, there's no way for you to go in any deeper. <laughs> Thankfully, we do have this, huh? I could examine- oh, wait, wait, okay, wait. Let's examine the plants first, huh? Such a thick, inverted plant life in an otherwise absolutely normal place would seem strange even in layman, and indeed, there is something unusual going on in this field. What most of the plants you can see are endemic to this region. The one causing the unusual thickness binding the others together, so to speak, is not. You are sure, in fact, there are never seen anything like that in your life. It's kind of a vine, extremely thick in its own, barely the diameter of a dental floss, but extremely widespread and strong. It seems to be using other larger plants, young trees and bushes, as a sort of scaffolding to maintain its reach for the sun. The thought occurs to you that this is more similar to the spider web than any plant alike. No! Game? I am not about to deal with spiders in Neo Scavenger, okay? This is the one game where spiders have not been an issue so far. Please do not make me change my mind like 70 something episodes into the series now. Do I want to do it? I don't I don't think I want fucking a spider. Okay. Do I cut the bushes? Do I just say fuck it or do, you know, we burn the bushes? I, I don't know which one to go about here. I am honestly a little bit worried for my safe being. I'd imagine burning the bushes might be a better option because you know if there's a spider there and it's in a spider web it'll catch fire right as opposed to me just cutting it it's just gonna come down and be like hey you're gonna cut my bushes i'll just cut you in half oh okay let's burn the bushes you try to set the fire to the plants but the flame dies out very quickly maybe it is too wet right now okay well <laughs> oh god damn it game Cut through the bushes. Something just happened. Something went into my inventory. You cut, slash, and chop for a good while, making a small but noticeable progress. Several m meters in, you already found some remains of the old camping equipment. You have the feeling that there can be real treasures hidden somewhere out there. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I just got stones. <laughs> well, obviously, I have the biggest set of stones you've ever met, baby, but... Did you've ever met, baby? Did I just say that in reality? What the fuck's wrong with me? Okay, um... Do we continue going forward? Is this like a trap? This has to be a trap, right? Oh, treasures ahead. Come, find the treasures ahead. Oh, my lord. Okay, let's try it. Something just happened. You decide to push even deeper, and after what seems like ages of hacking, you manage to reach the remains of a tent and find some useful stuff in it. The task leaves you exhausted and scratched from head to toe. You also notice that the air is getting heavier, and the smell is getting pretty unpleasant. Then you realize that, there's, that those things captured between the vines that you originally took for parts of the plants themselves are in fact pieces of bones human bones oh god it's a fucking it's a spider it has to be a spider oh god i got a backpack though i have to turn around at this point right i can't risk it can i really risk it i already got a backpack i even have a sleeping bag i can't risk it can i i mean this is this seems foolish at this point we were under the or at least i was under the impression we're looking with a spider here and suddenly there's fucking human bones wrapped in this, like, you know, thread that just happens to look like a spider. Oh, it's a mutated spider. There's no other way about it. Is that... What is... Empty this out. Oh, milk powder. Sweet. Okay. I'll gladly take that. Alright, so now this gives me a chance to move all of my meat up here. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, let's be mature, though. Um, we'll put this here, and then we'll turn you over. Do that. Okay. So most of my, you know, edibles are going to be up here, I guess. That makes sense. Now, any more edibles down here? 
A bottle of water. This could kind of go up there. And another bottle of water. Good. So let's take the... This dude needs to... Yeah, I guess I might as well put him there. Carrying a heavy load. That's not good at all. Okay, so we do know that... Oh, but we are wary. That could be part of the problem here. It did, it did mention that it was scratched, too. I hope that's not, like, literally, like, scratched. 1.36. Uh, burdened. Struggling. Okay, so we need to actually get rid of something here. I don't think money is going to be much of an issue for us right now. I don't care about money. I just care about surviving. So let's get rid of that. And maybe some of these mechanical parts, too. Actually, we're already not burdened, right? Or not completely over our limit. No, we are. That had to go away. So you go away. I have no problem getting rid of you. 37.9. We have another extra one of these, huh? Do I need two? I don't think I do. But it only weighs 0 0.12, so it seems kind of foolish to kind of dump it off at this point. Pebbles, uh, 50, 50. What about the stones? That's probably weighing me down a bit too, right? Okay, well, let's ignore that for now. Um, I will take this. And I will indeed take this. Okay. Player causes fatigue much faster. Yeah, that's not helping matters whatsoever, but... I can't really risk it at this point. 73, 37, 100. Okay, I'm going to definitely take the 100 now. And... Uh, as much as I hate doing it, I wonder how you make the... The milk. Like, is it just water, milk, and then, like, a fire? I gotta imagine it's gotta be it, right? I don't want to eat right now. That seems like a waste of my... I mean, sure, I'm going to probably not even finish these before they expire. I Maybe, we'll see. But it seems like a waste right now, so... Um... Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Now, here's our big problem. Do we continue going far further, considering what's ahead of us or not? And honestly, I want to say that we don't do that. Maybe. Should I? I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, how are we looking here? I don't even know. All right. You, you, you know what? I, I can't risk it. I can't risk it. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to do it. It seems like a fucking trap. They're getting me too many good items for it not to be a trap. So, you know what? Main campsite. Thank you for what you did for me, but fuck that, all right? This is go back to the main guard or main area, whatever. I'm not going to leave yet, but um, I could go to the burial place or I could go search inside the headquarters. So, burial place. What would I find there? I guess we're going to find out, huh? Let's go in there. This is a spot which the camp staff used to bury refugees who died while taking shelter at this site. Don't give me zombies now, okay? God damn it. Explore the site a bit. It is a sad reminder of how the situation here quickly outgrew the capabilities of the camp authorities. The first few dozens of the graves are located by the forest. Farther from the living area, there are all individual ones, each with its own marker that most likely once had name of the person buried written upon it. However, as time went on and death tolls rose, laying off the bodies in separate graves had been replaced with the mass burial, with the help of heavy machinery wreckage, which can still be seen rusting nearby. A proof of what happened here, even more people died and the fuel for bulldozers ran out, can be observed closest to the campsite. A shallow ditch half filled with a substance that seems to be dried out lime just runs just under the windows of the school building. On closer inspection, there seems to be bones of many dozens of people buried in that lime. Player's fatigue? Uh, I was scratched. Let me know, scratched. Scratched from what? This is the spot which the camp staff used to bury refugees who died while taking shelter at this site. Um, okay, let's check the machines. Hey, we found something. There are two pieces of heavy equipment here, an excavator and a bulldozer, both with decayed, uh, both decayed way past the point of being even remotely salvageable. To your surprise, you didn't manage to find some old tools in the bulldozer. You almost thought it's a stroke of good luck, only to come to a sudden realization that those items are still here because most of the looters must have been too scared by the nearby mass grave to even come here. So we are... Oh, we already, already have this shit, though. I mean, in a sense, it's not bad because it actually is an upgrade to what we do have here. So let's say this could go away. We'll flip this over and keep this uh, crowbar. We already have the crowbar, though, especially with the string. What's the condition in ours? 96. Yeah, I'll stick to the one that I have. The hatchet is 100%. What about the one that we have? 83. Okay, so that's a good swap. Not too bad. Alrighty, so we got a, a little bit of something out of this. So let's confirm. And now we're going to go back to the main yard. And I guess we're going to go search inside the headquarters now, huh? Uh, most of the structure is destroyed, initially damaged by the fire, and then eroded by the years of abandonment. Almost all of the utilities inside are either scorched black or rotten beyond any use. A few offices located in the basement of the building still most likely intact, however. One room in particular seems to have been spared from the total destruction above. While it had been looted and has been stripped from almost anything of value, there is still some stuff left inside. 
a row of filing cabinets filled with old medical documentation that previous, uh, previous visitors must have deemed useless. Let's check the medical records. Most of these papers are hastily filed medical record sheets, one for every person admitted to the camp. It seems that the medical staff at first try to keep track on basic needs of the refugees, supplying necessary medications and fighting occasional colds and headaches. As the time went on, a lot of the people seemed to complain on chest pains and shortness of breath, more so than on anything else. Soon afterwards, about two weeks after the initial wave of people arrived here, first person started to bleed, first person started to bleed internally, and died on the very next morning. From that moment on, the hell broke loose inside the Norton Shores refugee camp. More and more people died, all suffering from short breath, chest pains, and bloody cough beforehand. No one knew what was happening. By the end of this month, there were more than a thousand dead and twice as many sick in critical conditions. Hooey, so that's not good. Yeah, I just want to leave. Alrighty, so let's go to the main yard. I guess we're done here then, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna go fuck around that spider's nest, and, um... I know it's gonna be a spider's nest. It has to be. And then, um, burial plays were pretty much done there. We got some items, but that was it. Alright, so now we leave, and, um, well. This is, um, what we have. Now, we did get scratched, though. Holy fuck, we got scratched quite a bit. Oh, that's not even worth it, then. Holy shit, we're fucked. Okay, um, oh, I have no way to dis disinfect this right now. I'm gonna have to use some of my good water, unfortunately, so let's empty this out. I know this doesn't do much, I've heard, but whatever. It gives me, like, a placebo effect that it does. Mmm. And let's empty this one out, too. Do one. And one. Okay, whatever. And then we just, uh, I guess, patch it up. Jesus Christ, that's terrible. That's gonna be the last of my, um, clean rags, too, which is the worst part of this whole scenario here, so... Cut there, cut there, cut there, and last one. We're gonna have to clean a lot of these dirty rags off really soon, otherwise we're gonna be pretty much fucked when it comes to that. My dude's like a complete, uh, warrior though. I'm so tired. God, I need to get some rest somewhere. Can I rest here? I mean, I can, but that's probably not advisable, considering that spiders around, maybe. Who knows? Alright guys, let's call it an episode here. I need to really... Reconsider what we have to do at this point because now we came over here. We got some good stuff But honestly all we did was just end up jacking ourselves up even more. I know, at least we got the backpack, but I Don't know where to go to now. I guess we go to the glow perhaps who knows alrighty guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it I will catch you guys next time